My name's Jesse. I'm fat, I'm out of shape, and I'm tired of it. So I'm getting in shape. I'm starting by eating nothing but bacon for 30 days. that morning of day 15 under 320 three oh it's already gone 319.9 so just barely let's do the math on that 333.9 to 319.9 it's 14 pounds after 14 days pretty stoked we might make some celebration bacon today because bacon's the real reason we're here, right? More bacon. What is this? What is that? Right, it's time to get rid of this. Bacon rolls, right there. This is, in my opinion, and of course my opinion has changed like seven times during this uh, experiment so far, but this, in my opinion, is the best way to cook bacon. You can cook it and get that outside really, really crispy, and then the inside is just that perfect, soft, juicy, deliciousness that we all love from bacon bacon rolls this is a dozen bacon rolls half is a thick slice bacon the other half is a regular more traditional thinner slice bacon they're both delicious the thick slice stuff might be a little undercooked but I'm hungry and I'm gonna eat it I also made a little dipping sauce because well could say I may be getting a little bored but this is just um, sriracha, a little apple cider vinegar, um, some fish sauce, and a touch of uh, soy sauce. That is pretty much it. That's what I'm doing for lunch every day. Someone asked me today if I'm planning my first meal off of the bacon diet. And I got so many things going through my head. I can't even think of what I want to eat first. But I will say... I am craving like some just cold, crisp, delicious vegetables more than anything. Um, asparagus too, but like lettuce. I just want a big salad. Something just fresh sounds amazing. Maybe a steak, maybe a burger. And that's the phone. By the way, I do work. I do have a job. I got to answer that. Okay, we're having a crisis. I'm trying to go on a walk. Caleb can't find his helmet, and we don't know where it is. And he's gonna freak out because he wants to ride his bike. He's not, not processing this well. Alright, I'm just going to wrap this up. I wanted to go over the numbers. Uh, starting weight to weak weight, uh, starting waist, belly, chest measurements, and two weak waist, belly, chest me measurements. 
Um, so the first time I wrote anything down um, was day two, was the 16th. I was 333.9. And today, sorry if I keep looking down, I got notes, can't remember all this stuff. Anyway, today, 319.9. Waist was 50 inches, and today's waist was just under 48, so 47 and 3 quarters. Starting belly was 56 inches. That is around the belly button, um, right around the widest part of my belly, 56 inches. Today, 52 on the button. And my chest was uh, 53 when I started and is now 51 and a half. So almost two inches, inch and a half on that. The other thing I wanted to talk about just a little bit more um, was I seem to be delving into this whole habits thing and it really kind of seems to be the key to what, um, what's going on and kind of understanding, you know, how I got here and what's happening and how to get out. Um, and I'm really tired, so I apologize. But I, I gotta get to bed. I've been up for a long time today. Habits are a loop or a cycle. Um, so you have, as a part of that loop, you have the cue, you have your routine, and you have the reward. Um, so the cue is the part that the brain sees um, and then makes a decision on which habit to follow. So for instance, um, a major cue for me, which I learned very quickly after eating only bacon for a week, um, my kids leftovers, his mac and cheese, his quesadillas, his whatever leftover food. Um, I walked past a bowl of macaroni and cheese and the very first thing I did was just reached out and grabbed it and grabbed this one. I caught myself. I realized, holy crap, that I was just gonna eat that um, without even thinking about it. So that's what a habit is, is it's an action you do without even thinking about it. Um, and then there's the reward. The reward is, well, what do you get from it? What's the benefit? What, what does it do? You know, um, and they're different for different people. You know, some people who smoke, the reward is the actual uh, nicotine hit the the buzz that you get um for other people who smoke the reward is going outside and socializing for a few minutes and getting away from work so um, if you understand the cue the routine and the reward you can kind of reverse engineer it and figure out how to replace that routine um, and or change the reward if necessary so it's kind of you have to identify routine like what is it that you're doing that you need to stop? And then you have to identify the reward, figure out why is it you do that? And then you have to identify the cue and figure out what is it that sparks it. Um, once you realize that, basically, you, you feel the cue, you see the cue, you'll recognize it, you become cognitive of it, um, and then you can make the decision to change the routine. And um, sometimes you have to experiment a little bit with reward to figure out exactly what that reward is and whether or not you can, you know, it can be replaced or it has to be the same reward. But um, that's kind of the book in a nutshell. It's uh, super interesting that there's also a fourth part. And Now this is, of course, all easily said, not easily done. So that's the whole point of this experiment. I'm using bacon. You can use whatever you want. I shaved my face. I kind of grow the scraggly beard that, you know, 
you can't really tell much is here and then all this stuff just bunches up so it looks like a beard it's not really a real beard I'm not good at it but I wanted to be able to track progress and have something to look at um, my face has been hiding behind that for quite a while I don't want to hide behind that anymore.